I'm going to make a sledge for a lorry and for that I draw out my design. I put her down so I have the right size for her sitting. So the back of the slit is not that tall but it's here. I'm going to cut this one out and make four of them on cardboard. I cut out four of these and I glued them together two and two. Uh, so I have two pieces. And I'm going to measure around, actually I like to start it up here, so that I know how long a piece I need. And I like it to go over here a little. So around 44 centimeters. And then I figured out how uh, wide I want this slit to be uh, for my doll. And I actually cheated and did cut it out by now. And this one is, um, it does, let's see, 17 centimeter uh, wide. I know it's hard to see, and 74 long. And I actually just curled this up like this, because that will make it easy to fold it around and glue it to my side here. And I think I'm going to start by gluing it on on the top right here and then going all the way around and I'm gluing it all out on the edge for the sled and I'm gluing both pieces on so that it's like all out like that all the way around I'm gonna do that for the legs, I cut out a piece of uh, cardboard that is, what is it, almost 12 centimeter long and 5 centimeter tall, but you can make them just as you want to. And the white I made so that I have like uh, two pieces here, I don't know if you can see that, there's like some lines here, and I have two lines, and then I bend it, two lines and a bend. And I did that so I can bend it like this. So it's almost the same side, size on all sides. And I'm going to put some glue on, on this end that is on top. Just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to put it together. And I'm going to take my tape and tape it down. Like that. And I'm going to let it dry. Then I glued together this part all the way around and I secured it with tape. As you can see, so it's quite big now. And I'm sorry about the way I have to record this, but I'm not into recording big things, so it's always a little hard for me to do so. But that's how I taped it together. And I glued on uh, these legs, except the last one that I just made. So I'm going to glue that on right here next to this one. Putting a lot of glue on there and placing it. And I'm placing it like one and a half centimeter from the edge here. And then I'm just going to leave it to dry. I measured out the length of this piece that's go over here. And I measured mine to be uh, 28 centimeters. And you want them as wide as this one or maybe a little wider, not much more. And I cut out four of them where I have the wave lying this way and I cut one in 28 where the line is lying that way and I'm going to cut this one in half so I need to figure out that's 28, that's 10, that's 
14 that will be right there. So I'm going to cut this one in half. So I have two of those. And to make these, I don't know what they're called in uh, English, so I'm just making them. So to make these, I'm going to glue this one down there. You can glue, uh, you can use hot glue for this project if you want to. I'm not that good with hot glue because I think it's like stringing and messy and stuff like that. So I'm just gluing that on and I'm going to do that on this one also. And I'm going to put one to the side so you can see what I'm doing here. So I have that one and I have one of these long ones and I'm going to put a ton of glue here. And this might even be too much, but then I have for the other one as well. Just making sure that it is sticking together. So I am placing these parts together and I am going to start with a clamp on this end and squeezing them together over this extra part in the middle. Going to clamp it here and I'm actually going to fold it upwards here. I know it's hard to see, just in a second, something like that. And then I'm going to let it dry like this. And I'm going to make the other one exact like this one. I'm going to make the seat for the sled. So I cut out a piece that fits uh, in between here, as you see, between here. And I kind of measured out where I want the seat. And I'm going to make it double. So first of all, I'm going to glue this part together. Something like that. And I'm just going to put into two clamps here, taking this piece. And I'm bending and I'm bending this piece a little forward by putting it down, otherwise it won't be able to fit because of the size I made it. And I'm lining it up with the top piece here. that and placing it down so I have the seat sitting like that and I'm going to glue on the top here and I'm going to paper mache it later with toilet paper so that will strength strengthen every part of this little wagon so that's how I'm going to let it sit for now. Um, and as you see, I did glue on these two on the bottom of the sledge. So now all there is uh, to do is to wait for this to dry before I can paper mache it. So uh, I'll be back. I took some toilet paper and I ripped it apart in small pieces. Oops, now it's all over. And I have some decoupage, decoupage glue. I don't know how you say that, but that's what I have. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to glue all these pieces all around uh, this thing.
When your project has all dried, it is time to give it some color. And I'm choosing some brown acrylic paint here. Uh, and I'm going to mix it up with some white. So that it's a middle between the dark brown here and the white. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of both of them and just go ahead and paint this creation. Making sure that I have it in all crevices and stuff like that. I have painted the sledge all around. Also in the inside, so you don't see the original color of it. Uh, and I have some white acrylic paint here by my side. And I'm going to make some detailing with some white in a thin stripe here. Like that and I am going to do it just like that on the other side as well I'm going to make the harness for the horse to be able to go with this sled and I'm using some wooden dowels uh, and I'm going to place them on each side here on the horse let's move that one out of the way so I'm going to take my sledge and I'm going to decide where to put them. I think I am going to put one here and I am squeezing it through like that and I have my measuring thing here, uh, two and a half. So I am going for two and a half over here as well. I think that's right about here. And I'm putting that one through as well. So they are just peeking out on the inside. You can't see that. And I'm going to glue them with my hot glue on the inside of the box so that they stay. And then I'm going to paint them the same color as the sled. I am making the harness for the slate. So first I took a leather strip and I glued it around this pin. So I'm going to put my horse between this and place this leather strap over the horse, making sure that I have it in the right uh, spot here. And then I'm just Gluing it together right there where I have it. I'm gonna put this one aside. So it's right here. And I'm going to take, I'm just using paper glue because that is really, really good on leather. And yes, this is really leather. This is some, I got cheap, uh, some rest. This is some uh, extra leather from a really leather fabric. So I'm going to put it over here with the glue and place it together. I'm going to cut the rest uh, leather off later, but I am going to use this to hold it in place around the pin. And then I have another leather uh, piece, just as wide as this I have here. 
And this one is going to go around the front of the horse. Let me see if I can show you. Like this. So I'm going to glue that on to uh, what I've just did in, uh, in a second, as soon as this one has dried. Okay, this part has been glued together, so I am going to remove the extra leather under here, like that. Put that in the garbage. Then I have this next strip, and I'm going to make a nice edge here, beginning or start or whatever you call it, like that so that I have this nice thing and I'm going to glue that on here on top I think but let's just try with the horse first so this sits right there um, so if I put this it will go there and around and that's perfect. So I'm going to glue it on there and I'm just going to remove the horse first. So I take the strip of leather and my glue and I'm going to glue some of this on there and stick it on there and I am going to take some of my here to to hold it together oh. while it's drying then I'm going to measure around my horse and gluing it to the other side as well I make two smaller strips thinner strips like this to go around the belly right here actually you could leave it as is like this um, if you don't want to make any more but normally they would have a strip around the belly so I am going to make that one and I have those two strips for that then I have two small jump rings uh, see if I can show you here. I have two small jump rings and I'm going to put them on one end of this strip. Just a second. And I will show you. So that they are sitting like this. And then I'm going to glue this piece around so that I have these two on one end of one of the strips. Now I'm going to glue these two strips I have, the one without the rings and the one with the rings, underneath this part. So it's going to sit something like that and on both sides. And I am going to measure, because I am putting the one with the rings on the other side, and I'm going to measure because I like it to be visible over here, because that makes it easier. So I'll glue it on so that it have the lengths you like to. The other one you can cut into lengths later. So I'm going to glue these two pieces on under, under this part. Oops. My glue has dried so now you can go ahead and close off this bug buckle and what you do is putting this leather strip uh, through both of them and then you open it up so you have them for themselves and you put it through the top one like that and it's hard from the way I'm standing here and then you just through and there it is closed and you can cut off the excess uh, leather here I'm gonna do that like that and there is the harness for your sled um, 
looking like this. And you can decorate your sled like you want to with bells and stuff like that. So it's really Christmassy or just like it is. But that's all there is to it. I hope you understood. Even though it is hard to see on some of my video clips what I'm doing. But I'm really trying here. So that was all there is to it. Happy crafting and see you soon.